Randy Johnson making his second start since a 12 week stint on the disabled list and Ricky Henderson leading off for L.A. And well, Ricky seven for 56, 28 Ks, 25 walks, no homers in his career against Johnson and Henderson goes down swinging in the top of the first. Ricky went 0 for 5 Friday night. Fans at the Bob warned to look out for flying objects like that. Jeremy Burnitz was 0 for 4 with three Ks career against Johnson, but in the top of the second, it's a one nothing game. Jeremy spoke in his 21st of the year. Top four Burnitz up again, and this time Johnson says six. Fifth K of the game for the units. Bottom four, Matt Cata facing Odalis Perez. Odalis allowed a career high four home runs to St. Louis in his previous start. Cata sixth, we're tied at one. Bottom six, Luis Gonzalez facing Perez. He's going up the middle over Cabrera. That gets a yip. Cesar is tourist, picks it up, steps on second, throws the first. That's a double play. Bottom 11, bring in Eric Gagne, facing Shea Hillenbrand. D-backs threatening. Hillenbrand can't bring Gonzo home. Rounds out to Cabrera. Game continues. Top 15, Dodgers with runners on second and third. Burnett's trying to lay it down and score the run from third, but Steve Randolph picks it up and nails him at first. Game continues. Bottom 15, Hillenbrand. He's 0 for 5, but he's got a nine-game hitting streak going. Let's make it 10. Let's call it a full game. Game over after 15 innings. The D-backs win it 2-1. Bobby Bonds underwent open heart surgery on Friday. This is the latest medical procedure for a man who has battled a series of ailments, including a brain tumor, pneumonia, and lung cancer. Bonds did make it through the surgery well and is expected to remain in intensive care for five days. Barry not with the Giants as they host the pods on Friday night. Bottom three, one nothing San Diego and Fonzie. Edgardo Alfonso opposite field. And it's not how hard you hit it, Neil. It's where you hit it. That is well placed. Ray Durham in JT Snow right behind him. 2-1 Giants. Those are the only two runs Adam Eaton gave up in seven innings. Fonzie was one for three. E top seven, same score. Joe Nathan. Nice play and starts the one, six, three, DP. Dave Hansen victimized. Giants out of trouble. Top eight, runner at third, and Mark Loretta. The bloop to shallow right field. Ray Durham going out and making like Willie Mays, except for one thing, he didn't actually catch the baseball. That's not going to fly in Giants country. We're tied at two. Of course, flashback to Thursday, and there's Bonds and the walk-off job off of Mike Myers. Oh, behave. Giants win the game three to two. So, back to Friday. We're in the bottom of the ninth inning of a 2-2 two -two game. Two on. And Pedro Feliz. Feliz means happy in Spanish, and boy, is he happy after that. Another walk-off shot. Giants take it 5-2. The win streak now at nine games. Sourdough rolls for all. A couple of young pitchers making their season debuts. Chen Wee So, first Taiwanese pitcher in Major League history. And welcome to the bigs. The second pitch he throws, Eric Young deposits. 13th of the year. So gave it three earned in six and a third. Young two for four. Bottom four, Wilson! Preston Wilson off of Wes Obermuller. Two run shot is 25th. RBIs 96 and 97. Rockies win at seven. Between the Sox and Yanks, Pedro, 8-7 and seven lifetime against the Pinstripers with a 2.65 ERA. Of course, we flash back the last time he faced the Yanks. He plunks Alfonso Soriano and then Derek Jeter in the same inning, adding fuel to the rivalry. So back to Friday night, your leadoff batter is Soriano, and that won't hit him, and he won't hit it. Changeup gets him. Soriano 0 for 5. Jeter, well, he gets bat on ball, but it's harmless. Trot next in the catch. Jeter 0 for 2, so there's two outs after a hit and a walk. Hideki Matsui right back up the box, but Noma going flat out, making a play. Sox out of the inning. David Wells on the mound for New York. 13 and 20 with a 5-16 ERA against the Sox lifetime. Another flashback. His last outing against Boston, July 4th. Forgettable for Boomer. He got boomed. Veritek, Manny, and David Ortiz taking him yard. Billy Miller and Veritek. Oops, I did it again. So five home runs. Has that in the back of his skull on Friday night. And Manny, center field. And Wells thinking, are you kidding me again? Well, it's going to stay in the park, but it is off the wall. Garcia Parra scores the game's first run, and the Sox have a lead. Top two, Jorge Posada cocked and locked. Right center field looks harmless at the outset, but it carries and carries, and just ask Nixon how harmless it is. Trot is over the fence, as is the baseball. 19th for Posada. We're tied at one. And later in the inning, Jeter 
Well, that just missed on the outside. Dun, 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 dun. Questek in the house. 2-2 two -two pitch is just a bit inside. And Martinez, again, not happy, thinking, ah, stupid camera. Three pitches later, it's ball four. So the sacks are packed for Jason Giambi. This is a dangerous situation for Martinez. Full count, bases loaded, two outs. Got him with a heat. Pedro out of a jam. And Neil, I'm parched. Why don't you take over? Take me home, Daddy. Bottom five, still 2-1. Two, two men on for Manny. And Wells says, your voyeur, sit down. Bottom six, tied at two, two outs. And so Boomer begins to struggle. Walks Bill Miller. Next batter walks Nixon. Next batter walks Veritek. Wells going to walk the bases loaded. Wells had six walks all season entering this game. He walked five in five and two thirds. Bring in Father Time, Jesse Orozco in, and Johnny Damon. Young fella against the not so young fella. Not so young fella wins that battle. Yankees out of the jam. Top seven still tied at two. DJ up with a man on third. And well, Pedro's pitch just misses ball four. And Pedro says, hey, hey. Hey, do you know who I am? <laughs> Dana DeMoose says, I know who you are. Do you know who I am? Knock it off or you'll be hitting the showers, fella. Yeah, that's enough out of you. Well, DeMoose's opinion is the only one that counts, although Pedro... Mm. What does Questex say about he that? He wanted that call. Yeah, we'll find out what... We'll find out what Dibs <laughs> thinks of Questex here shortly. Next batter, Giambi and... Swing and a miss, swing and sway like Sammy K. Two outs next out of Bernie with two on, and Enrique Wilson scores. Enrique Wilson had two doubles against Martinez on July 7th. Another hit on him Friday. Had two hits, stole two bases in this game. We go to the eighth. Armando Benitez pitching to Nixon. Man on second, gets away from Posada. Damian Jackson goes to third. One pitch later, Benitez is out. Bring in Mo. Rivera, 0-2 pitch to Veritek with two outs. Veritek, base hit. Scores Jackson, and this ball game is tied at three. Top nine, Yankees have a man on third. Young, young Kim. Oh, he always has great results against the Yanks. Jeter, fly ball to center. Damon going to make the catch, but no. Wilson tags and scores. It's 4-3 Yankees. Bottom nine, Red Sox have two on, two outs. Jason Giambi looking on, pinch hitter. His brother, Jeremy. Soriano the catch. The Yankees win the game. 4-3, and afterwards, David Wells. Jason Johnson, 1-7 and seven career against the Jays. One reason maybe he's not listening to his catcher. Brooke Fordyce sets up low and away, and Johnson goes right down the middle. Carlos Delgado right out of the park. First homer in 18 games, 29th of the season. RBI's 100, 101, and 102. He'd add 103 later. Jays up a three spot. Orioles tie it at three, bottom seven. Jays will untie it on an Oriole air. Vernon Wells pop-up, caught by Louis Matos. He needs a compass. Bad throw home. Pinch runner Reed Johnson, who stole second and took third on a wild pitch, scores the go-ahead run. Jays go ahead and win it 5-3. Much to Grover's chagrin. Here must. Vlad Guerrero off the DL Monday after missing 39 games with a herniated disc. 52 at-bat home run drought is over in the bottom of the second. Comes off Horatio Ramirez. Vlad's ninth of the year. We're tied at one. Top eight, Javi Lopez. Swinging a bat made from the wood of a tree felled by lightning. A three-run shot. His 28th, and the Braves are up 8-2, and it's the eighth, so it's over. Bottom eight, 8-3. Eight, Brad Wilkerson, pop fly, and the, the Joneses with some communication issues. Chipper gets the E, his fifth of the year, and everybody's safe. Still in the eighth. Eight, four Braves. Two out, two on for Michael Barrett. Ray King's pitch. I know you know that ball is Gonzo. Five runs in the eighth. It's a one-run game. Barrett's ninth of the year. Bottom nine. Ron Callaway in for Guerrero. He was pulled because the game was over. Well, the game is over because John Smoltz is in, and the Braves are 56-0. One leading after eight. But Callaway to deep center, and Andrew Jones say, hey, say nah. Jose Vidro scores. He reached on an air, so it's an unearned run. We are tied at eight. Smoltz third, blow and save this season in 40 chances. Bottom 11, sacks filled. Young Bong's pitch to Jose Macias. It's wild. Henry Blanco can't make the play. Orlando Cabrera, who stole third, scores, and the Expos in 11, 9-8. Catch a ride on the D train. Dontrell Willis. With six innings, three hits, one earned, five strikeouts. Pat Burrell, he whiffed twice. Bottom seven, two men on. Still 3-1 Marlins. 
Placido Polanco off Oogie Urbina. 4-3, Polanco's eight. And it looks like a good night for Larry Boa, but then this is where this game got its mojo. Bottom eight, Mike Williams walks Todd Hollinsworth. Next batter, Juan Pierre. Bunts and Williams throw is not of all-star caliber. After a sacrifice, Pudge Rodriguez walked intentionally, and Mike Lowell walks, and Hollinsworth scores. Williams faced four batters, walked three in the E, all four scored. So they get rid of him, and they bring in Carlos Silva. Juan Encarnacion, he walks, 5-4. Derek Lee, wild pitch. Pudge scores, 6-4. Marlins have scored three in the frame before the ball's even left the infield. Lee walks, base is loaded, and now the ball's gonna leave the infield. Florida drew five walks in the inning against Williams and Silva, then broke it open. Miguel Cabrera, single, scores two. Alex Gonzalez, RBI double, scores another. It's 9-4. Hollinsworth up again, RBI single. One run scores, Gonzalez. No, he doesn't score. 10-4 Marlins, and then Pierre, RBI single to right. The Marlins go on to win 11-5. Florida's 10th win in its last 13 home games. Good NL Central rivalry, Cubs and Strohs. Wade Miller, 4-2 lifetime against the Cubbies. Top one facing Sammy. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. Top four, same matchup, and I'm just a little impaired. Sosa goes down again. Miller, 6K in seven innings, gave us three runs. But in the seventh, it's a three-run game, and Carlos Zambrano, the pitcher, but even the pitcher can jump all over a hanging curveball, especially this one. Second jack of the year, Zambrano hitting 244. We're tied at three. In the eighth, still tied, Octavio Dotel and Sammy again. Can't catch up with it. 0 for three, three strikeouts and a walk. Next batter is Moises Salou and the former Stroh. Says here that's a mammoth two-run home run. And I can't disagree with that. 15th of the year, not all of them mammoth, but gets the job done. Alou three for four, three ribs. Zambrano the victor. Cubs take it 5-3. And they hit Albert with a breaking ball. And Eden is tossed. He is already tossed. Albert Pujols is appealing a two-game suspension handed down Friday by Major League Baseball. Cardinal told the sit after that first inning incident against the Padres on July 13th. Pujols, Padres catcher Gary Bennett, and Padre manager Bruce Bochy also told to write checks to MLB. Pittsburgh at St. Louis, top six. Bucks up 3-1 with one out, and Jose Hernandez on third. He's not going to make it home. Scott Rowland. The glove on the Kip Wells grounder. Mike Matheny with the tag, two down. Next batter, Jason Kendall. Esteban Yan's delivery winds up in Bo Hart's glove because he lives on Glove Street. Over to first, inning over, and we'll take another look at this. Look at Yan. Tossed his glove at the ball. In golf, that'd probably be a two-stroke penalty. Hart kept his mid on and got the job done. Top seven. Pirates now trail 4-3. Brian Giles stepping up to the bar. Tying one with the shot of Jack. His 11th coming off Lance Painter. It's 4-4. Top eight. Pirates up 5-4 after a fielding gap by the cards. And here comes another. Jason Kendall's double play ball thrown away by Edgar Renteria. Jeff Rebele and Craig Wilson score two of the six runs Pittsburgh would get in the inning. And they'd win it. 10-5. Matheny and pitcher Steve Klein share their thoughts. How thoughtful. Top versus bottom in the AL Central. Royals, Tigers, and a little-known item about Ken Harvey, alumnus of Beverly Hills High School in California. Go Normans! So we thought, well, maybe we could get him a starring role in Beverly Hills 902-0 if it ever comes back. Yeah, why not? Base hit, plates a couple of runs. 45th, 46 RBI of the season. It's 2-1. Boy, Brandon Wall should be proud of that. Of course, he went to West Beverly. Can't confuse the two. Bottom four, Eric Munson. And look at Harvey, the 3-6-3. Royals out of the inning. Munson was one for four. Top seven, guess who? Harvey. Up the middle, Ramon Santiago. And truth is, Santiago is a substandard shortstop. Well, Aaron Spelling's got to give this guy's own TV show now. Harvey, two for five, and then he scores on the Desi Relaford single. Oh, let's see Luke Perry do that. Harvey scores and gets a date with Kelly. Royals win 8-3. That's scary. You know all that. <laughs> Minnesota and Cleveland. Twins have lost nine straight roadies, but the Tribe have lost eight of their last nine. We didn't lose the highlight of the last time Kenny Rogers and Milton Bradley faced each other. Early July, Rogers gets five games for plunking the gamer. 
back to the game. Two on for Bradley. Milks that pitch to left. Coco Crisp puts the first runner on the board. Tribe ended up putting the first four up, but up just five, four in the seventh. Torrey Hunter batting against David Risky, who entered the inning with two out, gave up an RBI double to Doug Mankiewicz, and this RBI single to Hunter. We're tied, top nine still tied. Mankiewicz up with the runner on second, facing Danny Baez. Ring them bells. 22nd comeback win on the season for Minnesota, 6-5 final. Twins are seven and two since the break. Hey, what about the Rays and Chai Sox story here? Frank Thomas looking for career jack number 400, facing Jorge Sosa, liftoff. Left field, and we've got history. It's it's actually just a long fly ball. Oh, what a buzz kill. Carl Crawford makes the catch, so we go to the bottom of the fifth. It is six-nothing Sox after a Carlos Lee home run, and a big hurt. You're not going to fool me again. I know that's not going out. All right, all right, it's going out. There it is. Number 400 career, 36 man to reach that plateau. Seven nothing Sox, 24 on the season for Thomas. Same inning, Carl Everett slices one gap word. Now, this is going to be a run of the mill, ground rule double. Run of the mill until Rocco Baldelli gets a shower. Nothing like a beer shower when you're down seven nothing. Fortunately, it was light beer, so it didn't hurt. Fans would get ejected, Sox would win the game. Seven. 13 plus win season. Top third, Rafael Palmero clinched that. Home run number 512. Four have come off Moyer, 22 this season, and 43 career against Seattle. It's 3 2. Well, Rangers pitcher Robert Ellis making his first appearance of the season. That shows you how shallow the pitching pool is in Texas. You saw those numbers. And Mike Cameron going to the deep end in the bottom of the fourth off Ellis' 15th, 415 feet. Ties this game at three. Still in the bottom of the fourth, two on, two outs, and Ichiro straddling up to the bar. Ordering a shot of sake. Career best 10th for him, a six-run fourth. It's 6-3 Seattle, two batters later. One on, two outs, an 0-2 count, and Buck says, here's what I want you to do. That wasn't it. Brett Boone, two home runs Friday, came in four for 28, batting 143 with two RBI since the All-Star break. Seattle wins this ball game, 11-5. Moyer gets the win. World champs looking for their sixth straight home win, taking on the A's. Ted Lilly, one and four on the road this season. Now, the A's don't like playing in Anaheim. One and eight in their last nine games there, scoring 3.4 runs a game. Team ERA, 6.35. That will not get it done. Top five of this one, it is Terrence Long. All right, long enough on the ground. Long to Scott Spezio, who makes a play and gets his man. We are scoreless through five. Top eight, it's 1-0. Miguel Tejada, mind the gap. All the way to the wall. That'll play Arubio Durazo, tied at one. Tejada was two for five in the ball game. Two batters later, Ramon Hernandez. What a year this guy's having. The all-star up the middle to play Tejada. RBI number 47. And the A's take a 2-1 lead. Top nine, same score. A little insurance, that never hurts. Billy McMillan, the unlikely power source, just his second home run of the season. It's on the rocks. They needed that insurance. The A's take it 3-2.